Keep the change, you filthy animal. The time of the year again, and no, I'm a bit late with this video, but I still want to do it. I still want to list my top 10 Christmas movies, because I feel like this is the best time to watch Christmas movies. I mean, not just because it's Christmas, but because that Christmas is all about family and uh, wholesome feelings and stuff like that, bro. And that's what we get from Christmas movies, bro. Even though there are so many different kinds of Christmas movies, and we all like different kinds of Christmas movies, I feel like there's one thing we all get from Christmas movies is the heartwarming feeling, bro. Like, even like reminding you of a childhood. And today we'll be listing my top 10. Let's go. First up, we got Nightmare Before Christmas. I feel like this is a movie made not just for Christmas, but also for the Halloween season, bro. Like, this is. Like, you know how much of a good director or producer you have to be to make a movie that can be watched in two seasons bro like it's like a tradition to watch them in those two seasons this movie is amazing i must say this movie might not have the best story line or the best written in this top 10 but it's definitely one of the best visually if not the best bro like it's animation is perfect bro i fucking love the animation i mean animation is so stunning mate that it doesn't even matter how bad the writing is i mean the writing is not bad at all like i actually kind of like it but it could have been better it's it's okay bro like the characters the way they return the characters they're okay they have a few lines and stuff like that, or bad it's not that crazy but the visuals bro the animation is out of this world or after the love it after the love the feeling of dark but then it's like Christmas but then you have this heartwarming feeling also at the same time it's, it's just amazing bro definitely top 10 Christmas movies in my opinion I had the most terrible vision that's splendid no it was about your Christmas there was smoke and fire that's not my Christmas my Christmas is filled with laughter and joy and this my sandy claws outfit and then ninth place we got a superhero movie batman returns like after the first batman 1989 tim barton bro like he, he, i feel like he was one of the reasons like comic book movies started to being accepted and then they were, people started hating them again after george clooney's batman and everything so <laughs> but this movie is amazing like Batman 1989 was amazing and like how could you even top pick and then they just topped it again and most people might say Batman Returns is better than Batman 1989 well not me personally I still like 1989 more but Batman Returns is amazing the performances bro performances is one of the best performances I've ever seen in the comic book movie bro Michelle prefer well she was amazing as Catwoman bro Devetto is as the penguin beautiful beautiful bro beautiful and it got two things a lot flipping Christmas bro and a comic book movie bro like what could get better than that bro this is just amazing I flip love this movie like personally it could have been also better in terms of the lines of the characters I'm not a huge fan of the lines because it actually kind of cringe bro but I feel like the performances are so good bro it's like you don't even mind what they're saying bro you're just looking at the movements and how they actually deliver even those cringe lines it's amazing bro Batman Returns if you're into superhero movies and you're not really into Christmas movies but you want to watch Christmas movies and you really love comic book movies this is a movie to watch for you <laughs> Up next, we got an underrated Christmas movie, A Christmas Story. For me, bro, this probably has to be one of the best written on this list. Bro, A Christmas Story is so amazing, bro. <laughs> it's so amazing, bro. Like, from the comedy and everything, it's just perfect, bro. People love this movie. And even the narration, I feel like the narration makes it even way more better. It's, I don't know, like, I don't know how I've never seen this movie before because while like, I was compiling this list I was actually watching Christmas movies or watching Christmas movies to remind me how good they were and this was one of the Christmas movies I never seen before and I don't know how I've never seen this before this is so good bro this this is amazing I really love this been like with the imagination of the kid bro like the over dramatic acting in his imagination and just just makes it even better just makes it funnier amazing amazing story really deserves to be like 
mention more. I don't know why people don't mention this Christmas movie more. I know there are people out there like on the internet, but I've never met someone in my real life talk about a Christmas story. Christmas story, definitely one of the best, bro. Like, if you haven't seen it, please go check it out. Cause don't be like me, bro, and only see it years later, bro. Like, I mean, I was not born in the 80s anyway, but I wish I've seen it earlier, bro. This is just beautiful. Oh, for one brief moment, I saw all the bolts silhouetted against the lights of the traffic, and then they were gone. Oh, fudge. Only I didn't say fudge. I said the word. The big one. The queen mother of dirty words. Another movie that I've seen for the first time on your Edward Caesar hands. Bro, Tim Barton. He's a gold bro. <laughs> Tim Barton is the gold bro. He literally has three movies in my top ten. Bro, Nightmare Before Christmas, which is not really directed by him, but he's the producer. It is Tim Barton film. Batman Returns and Flippin' Edward Scissorhands. Edward Scissorhands is amazing, bro. Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp as Edward. Perfect. Beautiful. I like. I really appreciate Tim for casting Johnny a lot bro because I don't think people would have known that he's really really talented probably would have known but years later but I'm really glad like this is one of the first roles like he actually started blowing up out of because this was amazing it's not just a pretty face bro I mean like oh my like it's Johnny Depp bro like he's really good looking people seen him as a pretty face or something but he's an amazing actor I mean, like, you probably know from, like, Jack Sparrow and, like, his performances in, like, Alice the Wonder and movies like that, really Wonka and stuff like that. He's amazing, bro. I love Johnny Depp and this. I don't know. I feel like I really love how he doesn't know what to do. Like, like the character is like that. The character doesn't know what to do. I think he plays it perfectly. Like, someone who doesn't know anything about society or is new to the world and he plays it really perfect. And for me personally, it's also in my top 10 romantic movies. I'm not really romance type of guy, but I flippin' really don't like romantic movies, especially when they are like, like have this traditional blueprint. I really don't like that. But this, this is different. I love this. This is, this is perfect, bro. Like, like a teen girl fall in love with a guy with scissor hands, bro. Just, what's better than that, bro? That's pure love. Number six, we got Elf. I feel like Elf is in everybody's top ten. If this, bro, you can, every single movie here, people have different opinions on. But I've never seen anyone hate on Elf. <laughs> like seriously, I've never seen anyone in my life say Elf is a trash Christmas movie. Elf is like the traditional big go-to Christmas movie. Elf is amazing. Will Ferrell. I fucking love Will Ferrell. I love Will Ferrell. This is has to be like one of the funniest Christmas movies. Probably the second after the first movie I'm gonna mention. I really love Elf bro. Like it's super funny. Will Ferrell acting as a toddler just makes it way much more better. I think I think I would have preferred Elves like Will Ferrell's character Buddy than actual elves we learning traditional stories about Santa Claus and stuff. I don't think I even should say a lot on this because we can all agree that Elf is definitely one of the best Christmas movies of all time. Time for the announcement. Okay. Okay, people, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., Santa's coming to town. Santa! Oh my god! Santa here? I know him. I know him. And then entering our top five, and number five, we got the goat, the flipping amazing, how the Grinch stole Christmas. Bro, and as I said, like previously, Elf is the second best, funniest Christmas movie. And personally, this, how the Grinch stole Christmas, funniest Christmas movie, bro. Jim Carrey, bro. Maybe I'm Jim Carrey biased, but I don't think so, bro. <laughs> of course, Jim Carrey is my favorite actor. I fucking love Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey in this, he's. Bro, he's amazing, bro. I feel love Jim Carrey in this, bro. Like, the facial expressions, the way he delivered the lines, and everything. It's just amazing. Like, even as, like, the most memorable lines in this movie, like, what? Like, blind me with pepper spray. Aren't you gonna cut me? Put me in a chokehold? Blind me with pepper spray? 
Bro, this stuff made my childhood, bro. Growing up, I really loved Jim Carrey movies. And this was one of the movies I actually really, really super love, bro. I actually really loved watching this movie. How the Grinch Stole Christmas is amazing, bro. And also, bro, like Jim Carrey, I think he also made the Grinch. I don't know, I know like Dr. Seuss is like the creator and everything is the writer. And there's been like a hot st other Grinch Stole Christmas movies before that. But I feel like, like if you check the cosplayers or people in Disneyland or whatever, they always act like Jim Carrey's Grinch, like bro, like, like they could have acted like the other Grinch, like in the movies, other movies or animated movies and stuff like that. But they always act like Jim Carrey's Grinch. I don't know if it's because it's live action or is it because he's that good and that influential. I feel like this is the Grinch we all remember. Even though there's Grinch before that and Grinch is after that, Jim Carrey is the Grinch and always will be the Grinch. Then number four, the only recent movie on here, the only movie in the 2010s is Klaus. Bro, it's crazy to me that there hasn't been a really, really good Christmas movie in the 2010s, even in the 2020s, bro. Except for Klaus. I mean, there's also Arthur's Christmas, which I think could have been here. It's an honorable mention, but compared to this other's mo these other movies, uh, it it's alright uh, compared to these other movies. But Klaus, bro. Oh, <laughs> people love this. Bro, like, this, the writing of this is just perfect. Bro. It's just beautiful. Like, don't mind the animation. The animation is great. I people love the animation. Like, now it also has this really seriously good writing, bro. Like, it's just perfect, bro. Like, the characters, the character development, everything, bro. It's just perfect. And I think if this was a story I was told as a kid, I would have ended up, bro. I wouldn't believe it, bro. Because I was one of those guys who didn't believe in Santa, bro. Like, a fat guy who comes down with a chimney. Like, what the hell? We don't even have a chimney. So, if this was a story I was told of a Santa, I would have totally believed it, bro. This is probably also one of the best origin movies I've ever seen, bro. <laughs> Which is weird yeah, because it's an origin movie about Santa. Like, I would never thought I would ever seen an origin movie about Santa until I watched this. I mean, there's a lot. I mean, there's a lot. But this one, I think it's more memorable. It sticks in your head, bro. And it actually makes more sense and it's more, I don't know, realistic. But it's not realistic also at the same time. That's why I flipping love this movie. And also, not only is it like animation or about Christmas and about uh, family time and stuff like that. That's how that's a cliche of most Christmas movies. Say like, it's about family, yeah, yeah. But you learn really life, real life lessons in this, bro. Like the messages in this is crazy. Like for me personally, what I've learned also in this movie, like about how hate is taught and not born with hate, and also about how goodwill sparks another. It's, it's just perfect bro, like this movie, I think this movie is amazing for the adult audience and also for kids. It's just, it may seem like, oh my gosh, it's a cartoon, I can't watch this, I'm like 30. Bro, no, <laughs> it's amazing, bro. go watch the movie, please go do it, do it now. Entering our top 3 goals and number 3, got home alone. This movie is amazing. And I don't know how many times I've seen this movie, but it never gets old. Like most Christmas movies, when I watch them a lot of times, it just gets boring and most on this list I've only watched like three times maximum maximum but this one bro I've watched it way more than 20 times and it never gets old Home Alone is amazing it's probably the most influential on here also with the Grinch because bro I remember everyone wanted to be like Kevin McAllister bro everyone everyone wanted to make traps bro everyone everyone wanted to be catch thieves or robbers bro it was amazing bro it was great it was probably one of the best things in my childhood bro and now if that was so influential in my time in like in a time like so recent i wonder how it was when the time it got released bro like how big was this movie when it got released and you know what's sad for me bro there'll be a time the kids don't want to be kevin anymore like i don't know why but that's sad for me like kids won't want to be kevin anymore bro like that's crazy to think bro like this movie is amazing i flip alive the idea of a kid being left alone at home and tackling robbers bro. it just makes me feel powerful bro. i don't know why like it makes me feel like i can do anything bro. home alone is amazing definitely one of the best christmas movies and also one of the best family movies out there the second place we got a steven spielberg movie 
Gremlins. Gremlins, bro, perfect, beautiful, amazing, bro. I've, I've, I wanna, I like, I wanna kiss Spielberg right now. Like, can I, can I do that? Bro? Like, can I do that? Like, the idea of creatures roaming around in town and destroying the town before Christmas. I don't know why, but it just sounds cool, bro. <laughs> it just sounds cool, and I'm glad they went with it, bro. I'm glad he went with it, bro. This. It's amazing, bro. Gremlins. I feel like Gremlins is also another movie that's not talked about enough. I feel I've seen people talk about it on the internet. Like I've seen people talk about it in, in, the, in the internet, but I've never seen people talk about this movie in real life, bro. Bro, this movie needs to be spoken about even more, bro. It probably was big by the time it got released, but it probably died down as the years went by. But this movie, second best Christmas movie in my opinion, it's just amazing in front of the stories, the characters. The voice acting of the Gremlins, I find it actually super funny, bro. Like the actual design of the Gremlins themselves for a time like that, bro. Like with the technology they had or whatever. I feel like I think it's amazing, in my opinion. Like not no need for CGI to make it like look or weird or gruesome or something like that. I feel the love. It's just it's just amazing. Bro. Steven Spielberg is a goat. And the best Christmas movie, in my opinion. <laughs> Die Hard, bro. Die Hard is probably the most like different of in this. Like all of them are like family movies, except this one. <laughs> like this one's not really a family movie. Like unless like you have children or teenagers or something, maybe that's perfect or something. But out of all of them, this is the only one that's not really a family movie. But it's also best Christmas movie in my opinion and that's what I really love about it like it's different I love the flipping action and Bruce Willis is amazing and I remember growing up people used to call Bruce Willis die hard like I, like I never understood that but they used to say he's die hard because bro and while watching this movie I realized bro the movie is called die hard but my guy is also die hard because this nigga doesn't die at all what the hell and I love this movie I love the idea behind him um one man taking a whole terrorist like, like um, team and I, f I think it also like gave birth to a lot of action movies stuff like John Wick and stuff like that I feel like this is one of the first movies to do that like that one guy takes a whole I don't know uh, mob or mafia or whatever and I feel the love this about this movie and also one one thing also really love about this movie that I find really wholesome because that's the thing about Christmas movie that's what we love about Christmas movies they are wholesome I really love the friendship between him and Al bro like their friendship is really pure it's beautiful it's one of the best things I've seen in cinema bro like them becoming best friends instantly over a radio it's just crazy and them seeing each other after everything and hugging each other like they've known the, each other for years it's just perfect bro for the lovers okay guys that'll be the end of this list video comment down below what's your favorite christmas movie and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so turn post notification on miss out any brand new videos it's been really long for semi so i know hey.